In this episode, we're going to be talking bed modification. Let's spring into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're here at the BQ Magic Delta 3D printer. I really love this little guy. He does a fantastic job with PLA, uh, especially for more intricate parts is where I really like the Delta. However, lately I've been having an issue with it, and I decided to address the issue by making this a respectable 3D printer. What do I mean by that? Well, I've switched this to a 2.0 nozzle up here. If I get it in frame and ever since that I've not been able to get it to auto level now I've messed with the Z height offset and all kinds of other crazy things I've even bought extra you know test pads thinking it's bad uh, but for some reason after I do the auto align there's still too much of a gap between the bed and the nozzle so I got tired of messing with it and decided the only way I can really fix this is make this printer a respectable printer and give it an adjustable bed. So how did I do that, you might ask? Well, actually it was simpler than I thought. So the bed is pinned down with three M3s to this solid base. And what I did is I simply picked up a couple of these springs. Actually, I went to my spring box, which is right here if I get some of the glare off of it. So I picked this spring box up off of Amazon. I spoke about it. I actually got it for a project I was doing uh, with the 3D printed vise. But it comes with several of these and they were perfect size and match for the M3s. So I put those on there. Now, one of the pieces I did is I then took, after, after I did this, I took and I used this um, tire gauge. Now I've used this before for bed leveling. And then what I did is measured the uh, offset on each one of these to make sure I got this, um, all of them perfectly level. So each one of these are basically 12 millimeters up off the surface. Now what I will do is I will run the probe test to level this out. Now once this becomes leveled out, I still have the height problem because it for some reason thinks it needs to start higher than what it is. So what I do is I print a circle. So I watch it print the circle and then what I do is I take and adjust each one of these up until I get good surface coverage uh, on the, uh, the bed here. Once I get that, I know I'm pretty good and I, I adjust them up and then what I do is then stop the print, go back and check each corner with this and then average them all out. Once I do that, I am spot on level with this guy. So I'm really happy with this modification actually. Um, I don't know why this problem has arisen with changing the nozzle. Now it is the .20 that I have in here did come with the printer. So it's not like I have something different, but it just for some reason does not want to, um, you know, align itself correctly. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you've been having this problem or I just recommend this mod in general, because again, it gives you a way to, to better tune the printer. If you guys out there have some better suggestions or if there's a mode or something I can put this into to do a manual level, I'd really love to hear about it. Um, because I really enjoy this printer and I really enjoy what the Delta does. So if you found this interesting, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, bell button is going to be coming up over there. Be sure to hit that so you're notified when I put out new content. And uh, don't forget, Swag Shop's in the corner. And be sure you're a subscriber. Helps the channel out. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.